it's your girl Donna C. Shea Tara back at it again with another back at it again okay so this isn't hold on. this isn't a podcast episode this isn't a, a healing episode this is not even an episode honestly this is just um a, a get to know me kind of vibe um I realized that I kind of just <laughs> started dumping content on a lot of people and it probably is like whoa 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 slow down sis who the f are you amen um well like I said my name is Donna C. Shea Terror I am 27 I am from Harrisburg Pennsylvania 717 stand up a hey. I am a myriad of things I'm a believer I'm a cuss you outer, I'm a fighter, um, I'm an optimist, <laughs> annoyingly so sometimes. I am just somebody who is trying. Um, I've gone through a lot, like many of us in our lives. Um, for me, my journey just included a lot of questions. I always wanted to understand things and get to the root of things and uh, uh, find the patterns within things and and really just understand myself and the world around me. I wanted to understand my pain that I experienced in my life. I wanted to understand it on a, a spiritual level. For me, it wasn't about wanting to understand the psychological after effects or maths of trauma and things of that things. That information did come along, but for me, it was God. That's my introduction to life uh understanding of life is by way of god and when i was about eight years old it's probably earlier than that but eight years old is the earliest memory that i have of when i really just like fell in love with the word and it was in the songs of solomon the poetry the love that he described the the connection, the grace, the mercy, the everything that he wrote in that poetic form, it, it just really drew me in very, very early. And I felt I've been in love ever since. And I have just wanted to draw closer to God, wanted to draw closer to that understanding, wanted to draw closer to an understanding of myself, why I was the way I was, why I experienced the things I experienced, what they meant for me, what I can do with them, um, how they can be a power and not a source of, of crippling for me like so many people that I knew. Um, the reason why I started this channel, well, as you can see, if you ever look back, I, you see I have videos from two years ago. It's been an on and off again journey. And the reason why I started this channel was because, number one, um, I felt like this is what I was created to do. I feel like I am created to be a speaker. I'm a creator to be created to be a believer. I'm created to be a fighter. I'm, a, I'm created to be able to see where the where the enemy is playing a, a game at and be able to draw a defense and and then be able to build myself up to the point where I have an offense that's what I feel like God birthed me to do to be able to look at something that hurt and find a power from it and and and, and be able to give that power to another person I, I i genuinely believe that that is what i was born to do this is i if you know me if you knew me in real life you would know that encouraging people speak in life having these kind of conversations that I have on this channel is my everyday existence from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep this is the kind of energy that I'm I'm kind of just giving out and, and it's just who I am and I want to I want to do that like at the end of that's what I want to do I want to to build upon that I want to give that to people I want to create a community I don't want to call it a ministry but it, it that's what it is I want to build my own ministry because that's what I feel like I've just said that out loud for the first time and I, I kind of almost got emotional wow I want to build my own ministry not because I, I want to be seen or I want to be heard but because so many of us have felt like I have felt so many times in my life, so alone and so 
abused and so used and so misused and so misunderstood and and so confused and so and just so buried of the weight of life and I don't have it all figured out and I'm not perfect and I don't always get it right and I don't always say the right things and I don't always follow God's word but the way that we are told by the world that we're supposed to but I work very 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 hard to build a relationship with him to build an understanding with him so that when I do show up in my fight that I'm able to withstand what's going on because it's so easy to crumble. It's so easy to give way to frustration. It's so easy to to give way to hurt. It's so easy to become consumed with a situation to the point where you be you allow it to become your identity. I allow so many things that I experienced to become my identity for so long and it it kept me it kept me so stuck. It kept me so stuck. To the point of death, to the point from the time of I was 10 years old to the time that I was 18, I tried to take my own life 10 times, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. And because of the depth of that darkness, the depth of that pain, I have to fight this hard. Somebody probably see me probably like, yo, she doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And to somebody, I probably am. But again, the depth of the pain that God saved me from gave me the strength to claw my way out of I didn't have family I didn't have friends who under I didn't have any of that for a long 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 time it was just me and it was God and he he gave me a gift in that he gave me a gift in my voice he gave me a gift and my strength to be able to endure. He gave me a gift to be able to disconnect from things. He gave me a gift to be able to remove myself. He gave me a gift to be able to set and keep boundaries. He gave me a gift to be able to hold true to things that are real for me, but may be crazy to you. He gave me a gift in my fight. And because God gave me a gift in my fight, I want to do all that I can to give that gift back to others. Because I understand how easy it is to feel like you're by yourself. How easy it is to feel like nobody else gets it. Nobody else, baby, baby, you don't understand how much I do get that. You know what I mean? And I want, that's what I, that's my desire. God's desire is for his name to be exalted in all ways. My desire is that I am in full alignment with the gifting in his purpose and I started this channel for that to be able to grow that to grow that to be able to build something that everybody who felt shunned who felt like the black sheep who felt like the outcast who felt like they 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 didn't quite fit into the mold that they were they were carving out for themselves who didn't see anybody who looked like them or talked like them or believed like them or 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 was willing to be as raw as they were if you if you just want to be real as hell that's it I didn't I'm not as eloquent as a Sarah Jakes Roberts. I don't I don't have the connections in the network like a Stormy Wellington. When I seen other black speaker who were women, none of them looked like me, sounded like me, was cut like me, and then the ones who was was worried about things that had nothing to do with the things that I was striving for. So I wanted to fill a void that I seen. I couldn't relate to the people that was talking in the way that I could relate to, to, to my journey. It didn't, it didn't, even if there were certain parts, it was just, it was just something that, and so because God gave me a voice and a fight and a power, this is what you get. Me sitting here, sitting here, sharing my fight with you all. So, you know, you're not alone. So a community can be built. To draw closer to God. And you're like, how are you drawing closer to God by getting on the camera? Listen, these moments right here are so personal. So personal. 
I genuinely f think of it as a form of worship because they're so personal. Even though I'm talking to you all, I'm here by myself in this room. You know, it's me and it's God. And in these moments, I am more vulnerable than I really want to be at times, but in a way that is necessary. I have to learn how to expose myself to people to be able to expose myself to God. See, I had to. I'm using this as an outlet, as one of the outlets to do that. So that's it. That's why I'm here. My favorite color is black. <laughs> I love potatoes. I work out five to six times a day. I mean a day. Five to six times a week. Um, I'm going to be putting up some workout videos soon. It's just hard because I really be in a groove in the gym. So it's hard trying to get content when you really like enjoy what you're doing. Like it's it's hard for me to think about content creation and as far as this goes as well sometimes because it's like I enjoy my relationship with God I enjoy where I am in my relationship with God and sometimes getting caught up in the content creation part of it you get focused on the creation of the content or the content itself that you forget while you're doing this and that's one thing that that I'm also fighting against because I know that this is a part of the journey God God has given me this part for so long and until a new plan emerges I have to follow the old plan that he gave amen so I know that this is a part of the journey so I have to combat against the weapons of the enemies that I know that he does and one of the things that he does play with against me is my worth my worth of self my worth of value my worth of ability whether or not I am even worthy to to have these conversations with you all I don't who into my and I promise you I, I play myself every day like I get DMs and people are telling me you know that my messages are inspiring and I'm, I'm so grateful I'm so thankful honestly I am but it's not me it's God because me and myself by myself with myself I promise you I don't I don't I don't know why I keep doing this y'all I don't know why it's just something in me that just won't let it go my spirit just won't let it go my spirit just tells me to keep talking even when I want to shut up even when Right now, even doing this is pulling at a part of my heart that I want to cry right now. You know what I mean? Not because I'm sad, but because I know that there was a struggle that I had with myself before I cut on this camera. So me cutting on this camera is me choosing, choosing the God in this journey over my comfortability of being okay with repeating old habits of being okay with telling myself that I'm not worthy and being okay with telling myself that I can't birth this and and you're like who is okay with that and the reality is even if we're not okay with that we get comfortable in toxic patterns like that that we have with ourselves so when I do this when I turn on this camera this is me breaking the shackles off of that belief system whether this goes anywhere past the two people who consistently watch me or not it 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 is me sowing a seed of belief like I believe you God for my freedom I believe you for my better I believe you for the birthing of my vision of, of these goals and and they're not even mine like you gave them to me and I believe you for them even if I don't believe that I'm worthy even if I don't always feel like I can deliver even if I don't always feel like I'm I'm worth opening my mouth God does and I posted this video the other day and I'm saying this to you all because I want you to to really be encouraged to stop overthinking and just show up just show up because y'all when I tell you there are some days where even if the message is burning inside of me who am I to deliver this guy who am who am I to to tell these people that they can who am I to tell them that they're worthy who am I who am I but who am I not to who am I not to speak what God has given me who am I not to tell you you are possible who, who am I not to just send a simple a simple encouraging words who am I not my, my past doesn't determine 
where I'm trying to go in, what I'm trying to birth in, and I'm crying, I'm getting emotional, I'm not trying to, I promise you I'm fighting these tears because y'all, I don't want this to be that kind of vibe, it's just, we all have a struggle, we all have something that we say we're going to do, that we say we can't do, and then we don't finish. And we don't finish because we allow ourselves to, to be tricked by the enemy. We allow ourselves to fall victim to a truth that we know is a lie. I know that I'm worthy. I know that I'm possible. I know that I'm capable. I know that what God gave me, he wouldn't have given it to me if he didn't believe that I could produce it. I know that all I have to do is show up. Show up and God will meet me. God will meet us every single time. Every single time, every single time, and, and we have to choose it. We have to choose it. We have to choose it. We have to choose it, and I choose it every time I get on this phone. Every time I press record, every time I put myself out there with every post that I'm making, I had the revelation today because I started getting overwhelmed with content creation, and God was God dealt with me on that this morning. He excuse me he reminded me that I don't have to do anything I'm thinking of all these ways that I could do this and monetize that and all of these things are going to be are going to be given unto me amen are going to be given unto me not because I'm striving for them but because I'm showing up in the journey when you show up an outcome is 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 it's gonna happen. You go along with doing something, something is going to produce, amen? So me showing up, something is going to produce and me trying to stress myself out over, I gotta do this and I gotta make this kind of post and I gotta, no, I don't. Everything is simple. God is simple. All I have to do is simply be there. I'm doing too much is what God let me know. I'm doing too much. And, and it is and I, if you listen to the conversation that we had on, it was yesterday. I think it was just yesterday that I posted that. I, believe, I don't know. Is today Tuesday? Yesterday or the day before? Listen, if you listen to that conversation, um, the devil was in the detail. So even in that, I'm giving way for the enemy when God is simple. God is show up. God is turn the camera on. I thought I was going to be talking to y'all about something completely different. And this kind of stuff just started coming out. You see what I'm saying? God will meet you every time as long as you are just willing to get in the ring and fight. And you think that this ain't a fight. This was a fight before I got here to get out of my bed, to just come over to, the, to my air. It was a fight. It was a fight, not, not for me to do it. It was a fight for me to believe that I could do it, for me to feel that I was worthy enough to do it, for me to for me to be able to tell you that you're worthy enough to do it. You're worthy enough to finish what you start. You don't have to wait on a single thing, a person, a moment, a, 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 an alignment. You just have to show up. Show up. Us showing up, we are already proclaiming victory. Me just sitting here doing this, whether I post it or not, I am, by the way. But whether I post it or not, that was not the victory. This was the victory. This moment was the victory. This vulnerability was the victory. Me being able to admit to myself and me being able to admit to anybody who watches this that yes, I don't always get it right. So when I'm getting sent messages and I'm being told that I'm this, that, listen, it's all God because in myself, y'all, in myself, in myself, in myself, I'm still that same little girl who who's looking for her mom. In so many ways, I'm still that same girl who's trying to find her family. In so many ways, I'm still chilling on a block with my friends back home. In so many ways, do you understand what I'm saying to you? And myself, and myself, and ourselves, but in our in our faith, in our pursuit, in our mercy, in our grace. That, it, that is surely sufficient for any and every last one of us. We are everything. We are everything we need to be and more. Everything that I need to be, I already am. Not because I am, but because God is. But because God is. And because God is, I'm able to be. 
I'm able to be, and I don't, I, 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 again, I'm not, this is not about religion. This is just about God, just source God, the ultimate one, the creator, the everything that I am. That's it. That's it. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here like, how do I, how do I do this? I don't know how to, even with the Bible study, I don't know how to study the Bible. Not in a way that somebody else may know how to study the Bible. I, I pray, swear to goodness gracious. I pray before I open my Bible every time. Holy Spirit, have your way. Clear the space. Pray that anything that resides within me is not in a way. I pray that your name is exalted so that I may be renowned. I pray every single time when I open a Bible, whatever the falls on, I start reading. And sometimes while in and, and, and my starting to read on one chapter, God gives me a message, talk about this. And then I go to that. That's how I study the Bible. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I still get on Google and be like scriptures for anxiety. Mm, amen. And then I take note for future reference. Where? <laughs> We think we have to be perfect, and, and, and I know that I said that this is a getting to know me. You are getting to know me, and I'm, I'm, this is you getting to know me. Like I said, I am this person all day long. Only difference is I'm, I don't got no food right now, so I will be this person if we was eating. I don't got no drink right now. I'll be this person if we was drinking. I ain't got no smoke right now. I'll be this person if we was doing anything in the world. I would be this person right here. So this is you getting to know me. Welcome to a day in my life. Amen. Amen. Uh oh, or I will be playing Call of Duty on my phone. Yeah, that too. That gets me a little distracted. But other than that, this is it. This is this is all I got. This is all I got, and that's all I, I we all need. I used to think I needed a, a backdrop and I needed a fancy this and a fan. Let me tell you something. I didn't need none of that. None of that. None of that. We complicate our processes and our journeys, telling ourselves all of these things, falling for tricks of the enemy who tells us we need all of these things, making us focus on things that have nothing to do with nothing. I don't have to worry about that. Even with reading the Bible, I don't have to read the Bible just because I need to read the Bible every day. You should want to read the Bible every day, but there's not a God doesn't always require me to read the Bible every day. Sometimes he's talking directly to me. I don't have to look at his word. You understand what I'm saying? We get caught up. In in, 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 in in the traditions in the in the in the in the sat in the the, 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 the the I don't even know what the word I'm looking for in, in, in the in the everything like the, the the superstitions of it all. That's what I was about. Thank you, God. The superstitions of it all. If I don't read my Bible every day, I'm out of alignment with God. If I don't do who told us that? Who told us that? Even with me, if I don't post three to five times a day, then I'm not gonna get my numbers. I've been meeting my numbers every single week on a road towards a certain goal right now, but I've been meeting my numbers every single week with just my simplest of posts. Who told me I needed to create all these different content ideas and, and do all of these different things? And no, I just need to show up and be present every single time. It's time for me to be present. Every single time. And I have to want it. I have to choose it. It has to be mine. It can't be forced. That's what I wrote a status on my Facebook. You should come and find me on there. Um, and I said it was talking about the two different type forms of isolation that God has. Uh, I've been met with on my discover on my journey to healing and on my journey to getting deeper with God. The first one is forced when, you know, we get on our job journey where God just kill everything, kill, kill everything, just kills it all. And relationships start tripping, friendships start tripping, your family start tripping, jobs start tripping, kids start tripping, loss starts happening. Things are just all over the place. And although you don't feel a change within yourself, you see the shiftings happening all around you, which is causing you to have to look at yourself a little bit. It's emotional. It's chaotic. It's uh, uh, frantic. Sometimes it involves you cussing God out straight up. Don't lie. Don't lie. We being honest here. Um, straight up. So, um, and then the second kind is the chosen isolation is when you choose to remove yourself from things, patterns, situations, even remove yourself from yourself in order to focus on your dreams, your goals, your relationship with source. It's when you make the decision where God doesn't make the decision for you when you 
make the decision and we're like god don't be making yes god does energies don't lie so when energies are not equally yoked they will be destroyed from within so when god starts to go ahead and destroy those from within amen um that's when it's forced but when you choose to disconnect not ended in destruction but just disconnect simply just i'd rather be over here because this is aiding to where i want to go even if you know that sometimes in those shifts that you make in those decisions that you make it's going to cause uh an outbreak it's going to cause a, a bit of a, a a mix up a shake up in the atmosphere it's not in the way as if it would have been happened if it was forced upon you see when we choose there's a peace that comes with it there's a peace that comes with me saying yes god have your way there's a peace that comes with you know what i can't go out anymore because I need to save my coins and I'm sick and tired of F boys rubbing up on me and trying to try to put, you know, stuff in my drink. You know what I mean? Like there's a peace that comes with choosing what's better and greater for you. It's not about I'm not talking about God right now. I'm just talking about in general. When you disconnect from what no longer serves where you are going, not where you are, but where I got to I got to I'm trying to I'm trying to get somewhere. I need to focus my energy, my time, my attention on where I'm trying to go to because where I am right now is no longer serving me and in order to break these habits I need to change how I participate in the cycles and change how I participate in the environment not necessarily not everybody can up and move and change their environment some people have to learn how to navigate change within their same environment and it is in those moments that we realize you know what yep I'm gonna just go ahead and stay at home you know what I mean all together you know not because we're better not because this is less than but because for me to get to where I am going I need to focus all of my energy and time and effort and all of that I don't I don't even have that and have you ever just been in a season in your life where you just didn't have the energy like I don't think you understand when I say I'm tired. I don't feel like it. I am i don't mean I'm just tired in my body, baby. I'm tired in my soul. My, my heart is tired. I'm so tired. I can't even cry anymore. I'm so tired. Laughing feels like a job. I'm tired. I don't want to ain't nothing ha ha there's nothing to discuss do you see how straight my face is i'm tired have you ever been that kind of tired before see it's in those moments it's in those where we are our weakest where we are our weakest where we are our weakest where our fight becomes the strongest where our fight becomes the strongest amen so Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I just, I'm glad to be a part of that, that part of the, of the second, of the chosen part. Because even though I know that even in my tiredness, even in my, my feelings, even in my humanity, God is right there. And there's a peace that comes with it. And I'm going to keep showing up until I'm told otherwise. Until I'm shown otherwise, this is how we're fighting. This is how we're doing it. And I encourage you to keep showing up for your fight. Don't ask questions. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to find your way out. Don't try to use your mind to try to navigate your way out. Just show up in a way that your spirit feels the most at peace and allow God to meet you the rest of the way so that we can finish what we start. Be encouraged. Mm -hmm.